Welcome once again to my channel. I'm just waiting to see that yes, we are in fact streaming. Everything is working perfectly. Now, you've seen our previous videos about the joystick. We've had this joystick look like this, and then we updated it. And now we have this one. And we 3D printed all the green parts, assembled this machine, and it worked pretty good. What's missing is now I want to add this Arduino. This Arduino is connected to the live robot. No, I didn't want to open it. I want to import it. Thank you. And I've also made a model of a suction cup. Now let's see if I turn this over 90 degrees. Good. And turn this maybe 90 degrees, but I'm not sure it matters. And put it somewhere like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Center that a bit better. How much closer do you have to get, right? That's looking pretty centered. Let's see here. Oh no, the ordinance is on the corner. How long is this? 53.34? So I want the distance from this to, to this to be half of that, 53.24. Let's see, it's currently 27. And this edge was 53.34. Twenty six point six seven. It's so close. Oh, I'm gonna leave it. It's good enough. Now, so this bottom, which I printed before, was a nice idea, but it's flimsy and it doesn't work very good. So I'm gonna add a suction cup under here and then a case that goes around this. And uh, and if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen the picture that I'm doing for the wiring harness. The wires that come out of here have to connect to these pins here and here. So let's start by putting this where it belongs in the base. What, you won't let me? Okay, then we'll do, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And now you have to go in. Aha! Yeah, sure. And how's my height? I'll fix that in a bit. Now, I also need to add the suction cup. I'm tempted to add two suction cups. I'm hoping that one is enough. So, because, uh, yeah, in my, these suction cups are like $2 a piece. They're stupid expensive. Surely that is enough room. I want the plate that goes right through here to also be the bottom of this case. And I 
Well, I can see that that's not centered. Oh, how, how annoying. That's what I want. Yes, but you're... What? You're still not centered, are you? Oh, you... Is it... So then this is not centered? this yeah that isn't centered you can see it right here boo boo how the hell did that happen Okay, so we're trying to center this and this. Well, I gotta make sure I don't select a part of this. I'm trying to center this and this, basically. Hmm. Sure. I want to believe the easy way to fix this is to move just the suction cup. The right way to fix it is to fix is to move everything so that it's on the origin. Construct an axis through a cylinder. Okay. Now Move this to, you won't let me move it to the axis. Oh. There's my minimum, my distance is 0.415. So if I move this negative 415, why am I, what?
position x, position y, position z. So it's that 0.297, that's what I really want. So move. Hey. Okay. Oh, and that's the world origin, and I don't give a shit about the world origin because it's not where the rest of my shape is. Okay. So. Um. Good. I'm in the base here, so I want to create a new sketch. I want to create it on this plane. I want to project this circle and this circle, and maybe this circle. Uh huh. So now I can hide this and hide the shoulder because it's getting in my interfering with my view. And then I'm going to project a couple of these mounting holes. Let's see. I like, I don't really like any of these mounting holes, to be honest. Let's try that one and that one. And. It's going to be that one. Okay. Now we'll need a rectangle. Well, you know, maybe I can... I'll project this edge, and this edge, and this edge. Okay. One's enough? One's enough. Make these construction lines because I don't need them all the time. Uh, and then I can do that again. No. A two. A two by two so it's a one millimeter wall it's not very thick it doesn't need to be actually my nozzle is 0.4 so i'm going to make this a one point uh, there so the wall thickness is actually 1.2 which is three layers of plastic and i need to cut uh, holes probably but i don't know what that's going to look like yet Now somewhere up here, I've got a 3.75, was that the whole set? No, it was 3.044. That is the size of the part that is, the of the sensor that is pressed into the plastic from above. So, I have a way, I need a way to Slip this on. That's the outside edge of the case. Yeah, that's the bottom outside edge of the case. And I've got the same thing over here. Right. So all of that is like the floor of the case. And it is this part and this part and this part. And it is a grand total 
of 1.5 thick. Because when I show the section cut, you see that it just fits. And I feel that perhaps even these lines don't go far enough. Because they're, yeah, take that away. Take both of these. That's what I'm looking for. And let's put a little construction line here and make these symmetrical. Uh huh. What's my angle? Or better yet, what's my width here? That's going to make a little bit of a, of a pinching force that I hope will hold it on better. We shall see. Uh-huh. Great. So, um, actually, let's go back to that suction cup. I need to change the appearance of this thing. This whole suction cup is well we're going to say plastic but it's actually rubber and it's translucent uh, it's not transparent exactly but let's try that See, it's not clear acrylic which won't render at all <sighs> okay. So where's my shoulder again? Because I need to. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So I forgot to. Um. In my sketch again here. Not as a sketch. No. Uh, I want. I want to see this sketch and then I want to extrude this and this and this. I think I'm also going to want to, let's go back to this one again. Oh, you really won't let me select them all? Boo. Those are little feet that the parts will stand on. And uh, I think it has to go a little bit taller or this is gonna hit here. Although I've never noticed, where's my Arduino? 
Here you are. Let's see that. Um, they don't stick down four millimeters. Well, I mean, they stick down, but not four millimeters. I'll make it four and we'll be okay. Okay, so now I need the part on the end here that, that will hold around the potentiometer. And that is an ugly overhang. And I've been really pleased that so far I've been able to do this without, without a lot of support material. I have one instance of support material. So what can I do here? Uh, think, think, think. This doesn't look centered again. How is that possible? Is it my imagination? Because when it, yeah, see that's something that's not a monoma. Hey, hey, I'm streaming right now as I design this thing. I don't think anybody's watching, but I don't care. It's going to YouTube after this. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, That's very bothersome. Uh, where it was? No. Uh huh. So I was wrong here before I made this sketch. And if I move this item now, how can you say you're centered when you're not? Did I somehow? I go back to my suction cup here. Did this somehow build not off center? No, that's centered. That's centered. That's still centered. That's still centered. But you can see these two are different, right? I can see that you're not.
What the hell? So then what the, at this point? No, 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 no. I want you to be the origin, please. Yes. And you are going to the world origin. Yes. Why have I fought this thing for so long? And, and I'm centered on the origin of the, sh of the, the shoulder, I hope. Let's check this again. Shoulder, origin, position. Why is the shoulder origin there if the... Oh! But these circles are all concentric, so it's in the right place. Just I've just constructed this thing in some kind of ugly way, and all I can do is be sorry for myself, which is not where I want to be. Now, whose origins are these that are showing up? That one. And did I leave it open in the suction cup? I think I did. That's why it showed a change. Yeah. Go away. Update. Not the one I want. Hmm. Yes, thank you. Excuse me, I eat when I'm nervous. Plastic, opaque. Matte, black. Yeah, I don't know why some of these items changed color. There's, there's some serious issues with the the Fusion 360 right now, I guess. I don't know why this new part turned green. I mean, it is going to be 3D printed, but... So because these pegs are on the top, that basically sets it. You can't, I mean, that's the up direction of this print. End of story. I know how I want the case above it to look like, but I don't have very much experience with um, clips. And I'd really rather not have to experiment over and over and over again with 40 minute prints to get these clips right. So I'm very hesitant. 
let's see. First, um, what if instead, um, this is the bottom, case bottom. So that needs to somehow attach to this, preferably in a way that doesn't um, produce a lot of support material. But I don't see how that's going to happen. So I think this is just going to be a part that prints with support material, end of story. big Sure. Um, I guess that's how it's going to be. Now we need a top on this case. So this side needs to be open because that's where the wires will all go in. And the back here needs to be open for this USB connection. What's the minimum? The minimum looks to be about this. Mm. That's the wall we were talking about before. And I think I'm going to put a point here, point here, and then I'm Gonna bend this. I 
guess I could make it symmetrical. Not sure how much it matters. Oh, I can't make the handle symmetrical to this line. Hmm. Well, fine then. Yep, that's what I want. basically it oh oh see there it hits the the frame it wouldn't be able to turn around even if I hmm hmm that's as high as I can go huh well there's my pins so that is as they say too close okay so that was not gonna work Maybe I should say, maybe I should say this and this and this and this and this and then offset this chain. I won. I'm asking myself as I do this, do I even need a cover? Right? I mean, a decorative cover is very decorative, but that's all it is. It's decorative. It blocks your access, and it's a part I probably don't need. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Screw this. Let's just print this base part and see how she do. And if it works out, then I can always revisit it later and get get funky with it. Everything I do gonna be funky from now on. No, oh, I want a chamfer. Oh, that looks curved because it is, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Uh, do I need all that material up there? I don't know. 
Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, case bottom. Save as STL. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. That's for somebody else. I don't even know if you can see these things. Uh, joystick two case bottom. Printer software. You, can you see that printer software? I don't know. Uh, well, I think we're going to end it here because it's going to print for a while, and uh, and you can check in on my Instagram to see the results. So I will see you next time. Be sure to follow I Make Robots on Instagram, or uh, check out marginallyclever.com where you can find all of our deets. And I will see you later.